I'm Mike. I'm Kim. Last year, we decided to rent a room in our apartment. We snapped some nice photos, built a website, put an ad up on Craigslist and waited for the emails to roll in. And roll in they did. One that stood out was from a girl named Kati from Estonia. This is Kati. Hi, Kati. Hi, Kati. Estonia, we thought. Where the heck is that? We took a trip to our local flight center to find out. Ah, Estonia. A small country on the Baltic Sea. Etsy. Or ST. Who would have known that one year later, this stranger from a country we'd never heard of would end up being one of our best friends? This is our story about adventure, friendship, and discovering Estonian spirit. Katy arrived and it was fun from the very beginning. We were like peas in a pod, or raisins in a loaf of Kringle. We showed her what our life was like here in Canada. Halloween, Christmas, hockey, Canadian winters, good old-fashioned fun. In turn, Kati taught us about life in Estonia. One thing we realized early on, Kati was really proud to be Estonian. Over morning coffee, we'd learn all about Granny, the farmhouse, long summer days in June, and Estonian history. Let's just say our Estonian training was rigorous. Estonia 101. Introduction to Estonia in 10 key lessons. Number one, Estonia is not Eastern Europe. Number two, Two Estonian guys invented Skype. Number three, the song festival is awesome. Number four, the singing revolution helped the country gain independence. Number five, on YouTube, there's a funny advertisement for Estonian TV shot like the Simpsons intro, but with Estonians in the countryside. Number six, Suvi is the second film in a three-part movie series from the 1970s, made in Estonia. It follows a group of friends over two decades. Mike fell asleep. Number seven, Kringle can be made with raisins or without, normally with. Stritzel is basically the same thing, but smaller than Kringle. Number eight, Estonians are very proud of their country. Number nine, Granny's farmhouse can be seen from Google Maps. And last but not least, lesson number 10. In order to truly grasp the spirit of Estonia, we needed to see Estonia for ourselves. Estonia 102. Words to get by. Tere. Hello. Aita. Thank you. Turvisex. Cheers. Maeole lo tourist. I am not a dumb tourist. We only had five days in Estonia and we wanted to see as much as possible, so there was no time to waste. And Kati had a long itinerary planned for us. First stop, Old Town Tallinn. We got lost in the winding lanes and cobblestone streets and were amazed by the Disney-like towers that surrounded the town from the medieval times. As Canadians, it's really hard to grasp how old the city is. Next up, the seaside town of Kasmu. We discovered an amazing maritime museum and an old piano that Mike got to play. We even had a moment to upload pictures to Facebook and call family on Skype back home, in the middle of the forest. Yep, Wi-Fi in the forest. Kati brought us everywhere. We drove for miles and miles deep into the Estonian countryside, stopping at manors, castles, and taverns along the way. No stone was left unturned. Well, maybe one. Or two. Or two. We downed one liter mugs of beer and sang Estonian songs in an old gunpowder cellar in Tartu. Like oh wait, that's Madonna. She's not Estonian. We even saw some traditional Estonian dress. I mean, traditional Estonian dress. It didn't seem to matter where we went, we were always surrounded by this feeling of togetherness and resilience, unspoken bonds, a pride in culture, and an admiration for the land itself. But maybe the best example of Estonian spirit was staying with Kati and her family at the farmhouse, seeing three generations of Estonian women balancing work, school, life, and still finding time to plant potatoes, milk cows, pick apples and feed the chickens on the family farm. 
It's this feeling that seems to hold everything together. The spirit. It's what bridges the new and the old, the city and rolling countryside, the medieval and modern, singing to Skype, granny to granddaughter. Our five days seemed to go by so fast, and at the same time we managed to see so much of the country, met some amazing people, and had tons of fun. More importantly though, I think we were able to get to know our friend Katya on a deeper level, and truly understand where our pride and spirit come from. Or maybe all of this is wrong. Maybe Katya is just... Well, I, I actually have no idea. <laughs>